Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Mario Gives Up, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, now we're at Beachy Sandstorm, where I played the stage before, and to be honest, it would have to be my least favorite of this world. A, because of the wind, and B, when you're on the ground, sometimes it's misleading, making you think you're on solid ground. But when you're teetering on the edge, it turns out that's actually the pit. And that can sometimes throw you off when you had to make a jump. Or if you're just waiting for something. So those two factors definitely make this level quite bad, in my opinion. It's a good concept, though I think it could have been executed a little bit differently, and it would have been much better. Not to mention, all this sand lying around makes it quite cramped. You're going to notice that later on in the second half of the stage, or at least the second part. Of course, yo no Yoshi's allowed, and yes, it's very cramped to deal with. So good luck navigating around. Uh, that's only for the checkpoint. I might as well go for it. There we go. Usually when you're in dungeon-esque stages, that instead of getting tape, you'll just get the letter M. Which is weird, because even in castles or fortresses in the original Super Mario World, you could get the tape. Also be very careful, because you can actually see sand being shot out like this. Unfortunately, I lost my feather. So I had to use the momentum here in order to get up. There. So now that we got the key, we should be able to get to the secret exit. So now we have to go all the way back, unfortunately. A good idea to just toss the key up. And hope it lands, and it does. Good. So now it's up to me to get all the way over there. Beautiful. It was just barely on the cliff, too. It should allow me to get to the Green Switch Palace. I might as well do that now. No reason not to. Ah, there we go. We got a lot of coins. So this is more akin to the Yellow Switch Palace of the original Super Mario World, as opposed to the Green Switch Palace in Super Mario World. Then again, there was really no Yellow Switch Palace at all. There was a Yellow Switch, but in a Flying Yoshi area. In this game, of course. The power of the switch you have pushed will turn dotted lines into solid blocks. But I bet you already knew that. Well, I did, of course. Anyways, yeah, Mario, I'm hiding my face in shame, too. Having to deal with this level again. This time for the normal exit. So, let's get it over with. We're also very close to finishing World 2. It would be a very long world if it takes, like, multiple videos in order to finish. Especially if we're not even at the halfway point. At least I don't believe we're at the halfway point. I don't really remember how many levels there are Mario gives up. But I would imagine there'd be, like, probably... I'll say more than five worlds. That's just me guessing here. Uh, there's so much crap on screen! Ugh. Careful. Get the mushroom! Stay alive. Yeah, I knew I was gonna hit that. I should've just went for it when I had the chance. But now it's time for me to uh, get to the midway point so I can just get bigger. Oh, there you were. I was wondering where you went. I was thinking you disappeared on me, Koopa. That would not impress me at all. Well, I mean, uh, that would make you look like a magician. Just not of the good kind. Oh, I thought there was something hidden over there. I might as well just go this way because it's safer than just going down there dealing with enemies. Whoa! Oh, I got hit by the beetle. That's the one thing I hate about this ground, is the enemies that are so short blend right in and make them so difficult to see. 
unless you're really pay t paying attention to your surroundings. And there's Yoshi! Ah! Don't lose it now! Also, I can't stay in that area with the no Yoshis allowed. Which will cause me to get off my Yoshi right away. And I don't really want that. Hey, why can't I just eat it? It's right there. Okay, looks like I have to go down. Oh, it's safe. And all of a sudden, I'm back in clear skies. So I was in some kind of floating area? I don't know. But either way, I digress. It's on to this area. Hell freezes over! Oh, it's auto-scrolling. Now it feels really hellish. But at least I get to keep the Yoshi. So at least I won't be lonely in this trip to hell. And I can avoid spikes rather easily. Well, apparently it's slippery. Hell really did freeze over! Still got a bit of permafrost. I don't like that. At least having Yoshi will make things a lot easier, as long as I don't touch the sides of the spikes. Just watch out for falling spikes. Can Yoshi eat them? Well, let's see. Eat the spikes? No, he can't. Fair enough. At least I can eat the dirt balls. <laughs> Delicious dirt. So earthy. Hey! No! Damn it, Buzzy Beetle. I probably had to get off Yoshi at this point. Anyway, oh, that was bad. Should have tried to get a little bit further ahead on the platform. So I lost my Yoshi, and I lost my power-up. Great. Hey, look at that Buzzy Beetle. He just wants to get on. Oh, sorry, buddy. This is just for me. Huh? Yoshi! Aw. I didn't think you were still here. That actually surprised me to see Yoshi just make a cameo appearance. And then just runs back in the other direction, because he had no choice. It's in his AI, after all. I would say it's in his blood, but it's not. It's in his AI. Ooh. Okay, so far this level actually is quite interesting. It's really an icy cave with a lot of spikes. Can I get over there? Yes, I can. Alright, so far so good. I'd like to get up higher, thank you. Yeah! Triple kill! Get on the trampoline. Go for that, I suppose. And let's see, do I go down this pipe? I might as well. Okay, what the hell happened here? Hmm, this is too freaky for my taste. Doesn't look like it did anything spectacular. Because I couldn't really go from left to right. I probably never understand what that did. But in the end, it doesn't really matter. Because I should still be able to get through. Get it? Aww. So close. But I don't think it would have mattered, because I don't think I would have been able to get the fifth one. And it looks like we're at Castle Grayskull? Uh, not yet. There's still a couple of levels for me to do in this world. Get them out of the way. Then I can move on to the castle. Touch Fuzzy, die. I don't plan on touching Fuzzy at all. It'll try to touch me, but I will have other ways. So far I haven't seen Fuzzy anywhere- Whoa! Damn! How accurate you were! Yeah, there's a fuzzy. There's probably gonna be many more. This is a cave story music, right? Yeah, of course. I've heard this in many ROM hacks. Oh, 
Could use that mushroom, that's right. Alright, so far so good. Haven't met any major complications with the fuzzies. Just remember, you can spin jump him, and um, that was close. That could have went pretty bad. Can I get in there? No. You guys are not worth my time. Whoa! Oh, I thought you were going to blend in with all the others. But you were a bit too different. You too. I gotta admit, for somebody that wears like a big bulky helmet and has a lot of muscle, it can jump pretty far. It's crazy. Looks like I'm a flower back. I don't think I want to go for that Yoshi coin, though. I mean, I could get it by jumping on the uh, paratroopa, but at this point, I don't really care. At least this game is trying to throw some difficulty at me, which I like. Like, as long as it's fair, but challenging, I'm good. But if it's unfair and really challenging, then well, it's just not fun at all. Especially if that game just happens to not work on some levels. A Super Mario World Central production! But anyways, it just didn't work out for me on my end. Worked out good on other people's ends, I'm sure. Just not on mine. Do you know what? I'll just take it for what it's worth. And that's all! Alright, now we'll go to Double Danger Fort. Let's see what we gotta deal with. Okay, is this where the uh, double perk comes in? Like, sometimes you'll see two pads? Or does it have anything to do with having, like, uh, two ball and chains usually together? Cause that doesn't seem like much of danger at all if you have the foresight to, well, oh my god, now they're completely out of sync. Like, the wherewithal to dodge them. Just remember what's in the middle is not solid. You can pass through that as well. There we go. The swamp can go into the lava. And I can go away from it. Thank you. That allows me passage. Now, I believe that the uh, tile set is from Artie Lightfoot for the Super Nintendo. And of course, the background is from Super Mario Bros. 3 in the All Stars version. In case you guys are wondering. Besides, I Let's Played Artie Lightfoot like many years ago. It was one of my old Let's Plays. Not very old, but old nonetheless. Much older than this LP, of course. It was actually a lot of fun to play. I will admit. Challenging in some extents, because I've hardly ever played it at all until it was requested to me. But I had a lot of fun. Alright, well, this is not really much of a dangerous fortress at all. In fact, it's very easy. Info. The guardian of this fortress is named Dunce. He's named that because he just hops around like an idiot. It's like looking into a mirror for Mario. Okay, so this is obviously Dunce. It takes like three heads to kill. And yeah, he doesn't look that intelligent at all. I mean, look at him. What? Oh no, I wanted the flower! <sighs> now who's the Dunce? Uh, I guess we'll just go to the castle. So I can feel a little bit better about myself. Alright, so obviously it's in Castle Grayskull, and you're gonna find a lot of dry bones. Remember, their skulls are gray. And visible. Therefore, I have a feeling this castle has a lot to do with dry bones. Very disappointingly, because to some extent I don't really like dry bones all that, all that much. And yet, it's something. What? 
whatever. Let's move on, I suppose. It's around here where I died. There. Threat averted. For now, at least. But now I need a power-up. I find one on the top path, so let's look. Yes, I do. Just a lowly mushroom, but it's more than what I've had before. Okay, this background, I believe, is from Super Mario Bros. 3 All-Stars version as well. I think it didn't flash as much around the bottom, probably until World 8, I think. I could be wrong. But, that doesn't really matter. It just seems like useless information to some extent. It's not information that's gonna save the world. It's not gonna show up as a final Jeopardy question, I promise you that. Eh, get away from me. Let's see how long we can keep that bone on screen. Oh, well that answers that question. Okay, those blocks will not go back up like thwomps do. And don't touch them on the sides because they are a bit spiky. Even though they don't seem like it would hurt, more like it would probably be like brushing against your leg to some extent, but not really spiky. But here it's spiky, so don't touch them on the side. The spikes don't even look that sharp. That's the thing I'm concerned about. It's like how can that still hurt you? But it does. Okay, that jump over there is starting to get a little repetitive. Like, see, even over here. They just made it a little bit different. And it's boss time, so we got Castle Grayskull. Takes five hits. Just look in the northwest corner and you can see its health bar. Just don't jump on him when it's flashing red. Okay, now it can jump. Uh, if only I had, like, a feather that I can just deal with the dry bones as well. Whoa, I thought I was gonna get hit there. Oh my god, are you kidding me? At least grab this power-up before you kill it! Oh, man. I thought I was gonna retain a power-up after a battle. Huh, whatever. Boom, not crash into that. The mutated zombie skeleton is now just burned up bones. A bridge is just appearing for some reason. However, the bridge is not completed. How will you cross it? Finding a way, I suppose. P-Switch Bridge. There are three sections to the bridge, and you get three tries to complete each section. If you cannot accomplish this, too bad. Well, that sounds very harsh, but okay, I'll give it a shot. So... Attempt one of stage one. And it looks like I gotta be fast. Get to the other P switch. Get there. Oh, I didn't even hear that ringing. But I should have known better by the length. Oh, whatever. Let's try this again. Just milk the time for what it's worth. Like, you don't have to hit it right away. Did I make it? I believe I did. Okay, that's stage two, attempt one. Can I get some health? Awesome. What? <laughs> nope! Oh, wow, that was just dumb. So watch out for over here. Because those are item blocks. Ugh, could have used you for a lift. Oh, I'm not gonna make it! Uh, uh. Oh, didn't make it. Okay, third attempt. Let's make this... Don't screw it up again! The thing is, I hit Y before I even land on the P-switch. That was what's screwing me over! That was close. Okay, I think this is going to give me a little bit more time. Make it. Make it. Make it. Yes! 
Okay, now we're at stage three. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is supposed to be the hardest stage. But, it's still possible. Let's go. We're gonna do this on the first try. I promise you that. I promise you success on the first try, and look what happens! Ha <laughs> ha! Beautiful. Alright! Uh, glided pathway. You know what, I'm gonna stop the video here, and in the next part, we're gonna begin the path to World 3. See ya!